I'm the principal of Renaissance Academy High School, located in the historic Upton Drude Heights community in Baltimore City. We have lost three African American males to violence in the last 90 days. Our response to that with the other students in the building is to continue to support them, to continue to embrace them and to teach them that their lives matter and mean something right now. We do that restoratively through restorative circles. So I think now when people hear Renaissance Academy, it immediately, um, they, their minds immediately focus on tragedy and how horrible is this that this has happened um, to this school. But it doesn't shock me that it happened to the school because everything that has been set in place, so legislative policies and the ability for various uh, factions to invest in the kids of this community, that doesn't happen. What we're seeing in terms of record violence is by design. And there's a greater issue that's not just isolated to Renaissance. There has been an acceptance of violence as being normal in Baltimore City. My concern is that the number of stories that are coming up now of teenagers who have been in possession of weapons, right? Which is very different from, you know, growing up in Cherry Hill in the 90s and witnessing some things like, it, there used to be a code to this where children didn't have guns. So I ask them, because they're very honest and transparent, like, could you get a gun? I can get one. I can take you right now. We can get one for $20. So not only can you do you know where to get it, mm -hmm. but it's within a price range that you can afford it. Mm -hmm. But you are not at a maturity level or you haven't developed enough mm -hmm. that you understand the danger in that. I think they're getting it for perception, right? Mm -hmm. So what they perceive may or may not be the reality. Mm -hmm. So their per perception could be I am growing up in Sandtown, Winchester, or Druid Heights, and it is really, really dangerous. Somebody will hurt me, okay. right? Or their perception may be, you know, I don't ever want to be in a circumstance where I feel powerless again. And so in me being in possession of this, I have a certain measure of power. They're really savvy when you think about it. Like they walk through some of the most challenging areas in the city and they're surviving through that, right? But the only way to turn those challenging areas into safe spaces is to empower and uplift the community as a whole. Most are gonna make it. And I think in times where you have like, yeah, there's this deep concentration. There have been three young men at Renaissance Academy in three, uh, in, in three months, right? Mm -hmm. But most are going to make it. Most are already positioned to make it. Like, they could close Renaissance today, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, might. they could remove me from the building today, right? Mm -hmm. But I so love this community. And these children, that I'm still going to be out there getting it. Well, it hurts me to see people from my school that I see daily just die when, like, it's just a day or two and we just seen them or we just left, left from seeing them or hanging with them. Then we just come to find out they gone in a matter of seconds. It just mm -hmm. kills me to see people every day and then out of nowhere they're just gone. So it makes me think about value in life and making changes. So I just, I do it through music, I do it through writing, I do it through like involving myself with Mr. Cooper, which is Seeds of Promise, my brother's keeper. But mm -hmm. being in school, I feel like it's safer here for me because I'm around people that actually I consider family.